This is Mr. Jarvis with Homework Help for Monday, December 11th, and <clears throat> pretty easy. We were should have done this earlier, just introduce, almost like introducing decimals, and we've been doing decimals, adding, and uh, even multiplying by powers of 10. But on these, we're supposed to look at the representation where this flat equals one whole. And this is one-tenth, because this, is, this would represent like if this was cut vertically into 10 pieces. Oh, I kind of did the... You get the idea. My pen's too thick to do a good job of that. So that's a tenth. This would be a hundredth, one little square. And one tenth of the square is one thousandths. So what number would this represent? So there's two holes, two, and, and there's three tenths, three tenths. Let me just write the whole thing a little neater. Two holes and three tenths. One hundred and four thousand. So two and three hundred fourteen thousand. So tenths, hundreds, thousands, and we say the last name of thousands for this one. Okay. So once again, let's take a look at one more. So this represents whole. So this is one whole, and this looks like and we don't have any tenths. I don't see any of those, so I have to put a zero. But these are hundreds, and it looks like I have seven hundreds. So it's one and seven hundreds. Okay. And uh, so now we're doing the opposite. We're supposed to color in two tenths. Okay. So I would color in two of, shade in two of these, and then an equivalent fraction, two uh, tenths. And that simplifies to one fifth. Okay. So now we're looking at 60 hundredths. So we go, um, we start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're just going to shade in six of these. There should be four left. I kind of cut in. Sorry. Oh, that did a really, nah, I can't really shade in very well. <laughs> So I gotta go in easier to count four in here. And then this would be shaded in. Yeah, six hundredths. So the decimal would be point. I mean, yeah, six tenths. Did I say hundredths? Darn it. Sixty hundredths. So you could write it as zero and sixty, or just simply zero point six. Once again, that's you could just say it's six tenths rather than sixty hundredths. You can simplify it. Or, you know, that's the same thing as sixty hundredths. I think it's more proper to write it this way zero and six tenths. Simplifying the hundredths part here. Okay. Okay. Looks like that was it. So, um, yeah, the, the homework was, I think people kind of just sort of jammed through that. So <laughs> it's pretty easy. So enjoy that and I um, uh, hope you have a great evening.